So I've already told you about the monster in this one. Yeah, it's just a tall, ugly guy. Does Vera West do gowns in this one, or since it's not a monster movie, does she not? Rondo Hatton is Oh, Evelyn name. Anchors! Okay, cool. Glad she's in more of these. She is gowns! Oh, gowns! It looks like Gorons. We're going in, like, cold turkey. I've never seen any of the other Sherlock Holmes Universal movies. I've seen the Universal ones. I've seen the, uh, Robert Downey Jr. ones. Yep. And the Benedict Cumberbatch ones. I've seen one episode of that. There she is. Evelyn Anchors herself. She looks like a fucking anchor. Look at that hair. Rondo Hatton. He was known for his unique facial features, which were caused by acromegaly, a syndrome caused by disorder of the pituitary gland. Oh yeah, acromegaly. Grow. Yeah. Parts grow more than they should grow, so his face grew in unusual ways. So Universal was like, you know what? You look so ridiculous, we're gonna make you a monster. And then he That's... died before they could make him a real big franchise. That's pretty fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. Are we gonna watch the other one? Yeah, this is the first of yes. the quote-unquote Creeper trilogy. Even though the Creeper movies have nothing to do with this movie or each other, even. Ah, uh, yes, yes. My roses. My beautiful roses. This guy is hilarious. It's like I'm making fun of someone talking funny. Yeah. You think you think it? It's that exact voice. It's not even <laughs> oh, a character. Oh, yes, yes. All right, my dear, all right. Come, Pontiac. Let us observe the mulberry bush. <laughs> so pip, pip, da doodly doo. Yes, my dear, the Creeper. Huh? Ah. They said it. You know, I can't believe in the Dark Universe they didn't recast the Creeper before that whole thing went under after one movie. The old man stole the pearl from her after she stole it from that guy. Where's Basil Rathbone? <gasps> Is he wearing makeup? Is that- That's Basil Rathbone! Look at his chin. Very Sherlock Holmesian chin. It's like a triangle. I can't tell if these movies helped establish the look of Sherlock Holmes, or if this guy just happens to look exactly like what Sherlock Holmes looks like in everyone's head. I don't know which came first, chicken or egg. The Royal Regent Museum. There's a Royal Regent Museum. Is that Sherlock again? No, it's just a dagger chin. Oh, it might be fucking Sherlock again. He's a master of disguise. I love how they establish that immediately. Master of disguise, really smart, talks fast, does things his own way. Oh, nope, that guy was not Sherlock, because that guy might be Sherlock. But now we don't even know who Sherlock is unless we see his face on screen. He could even be so Evelyn Anchors. Happy. We'd hardly treat a national treasure. Book of Secrets? Very ingenious. How did no one see him? Goodbye, Digby. Goodbye, Mr. Holmes. They didn't even talk. There was no conversation between those words. That's not clever at all! Everyone can clearly see- Oh, okay, everyone's dumb in this movie. My mistake. Sherlock Holmes isn't a genius. Everyone else around him is just a bumbling idiot. <laughs> so Sherlock did this clever thing to get rid of the alarm. And this burglar's plan isn't to recreate that in the future. It's to throw a chair through a window. Right now. Right now with the pearl. This is so funny. It's funny because it fucking worked. The wires were disconnected. Thanks to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Oh no. World's greatest detective, my ass. Robert Downey Jr. and this guy do look like Sherlock Holmes. Like, this guy looks more like Sherlock Holmes than Robert Well, Downey. yeah, but Downey Jr. looks like this guy but with a shorter face. I can't say the same about Mr. Benedict. Benedict... Arnold's the guy who betrayed America. He yeah, 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 updates his performance because it's a modern Sherlock. Yeah, whereas Robert Downey kind of does his little like Iron Man shtick for Sherlock. Yeah, and that's okay. It kind of works for that, but those movies are like blockbuster stylized. And I Sherlock like them a lot, actually. Oh yeah, they're fun. There's a chess scene in two. Fucking amazing. I don't like the idea that Sherlock was outsmarted by someone who's not nearly as smart as Sherlock. I don't think he was outsmarted. I think he was trying to prove a point to this guy. He was trying to prove a point, but he didn't realize that someone was just listening in and stole the pearl that way. Well, yeah. This is directly Sherlock's fault. Sherlock's gonna trick him being a master disguise. There he is, Sherlock Holmes. Open up the tea kettle, dumbass. If that tea kettle opens up, I want it to smash cut to an explosion. It probably says, fuck you guys, I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Oh, this is the right time to just play violin. Trying to solve the mystery of the Black Pearl, or the Pearl of Death, or whatever the fuck you <laughs> call it. the Caribbean, the Black Pearl. Just play the violin, that'll help. We can't make our Clark Gable jokes, he doesn't have the Clark Gable I mustache. know, and I'm so mad. Spine snapped. The thing we've been waiting for. I've been waiting for someone's back to fucking snap. I'm coming! Oh, Watson's coming. just a grumbly old man in this one. Certain star, would you mind if Dr. Watson has a look at him? Not at all. Thank you. Alright, I'm going to inject him with heroin now and see what went on. And he's alive again. I suppose you're going to tell us just who did it. Your mother. A monster, Watson. The chest of a buffalo in the arms of a gorilla. Chest of a buffalo in the arms <laughs> of a gorilla. Sounds like a guy I want to hang out with. That sounds like a more ravenous monster than just a tall guy with a weird face. His arms are very gorilla-like. His hands are gigantic because of his acromegaly. Universal looked at the guy who has acromegaly, who's probably suffering from it for years, and was like, Hey, you know what? This thing that's torturing you, 
We can actually exploit it and get you and me a little bit of money. They tried to drive by shoot Sherlock Holmes. Is it Sherlock again? I hope so. It has to be. Look at him. Doctor won't let me smoke cigarettes. Brings out a cigar. All right, time to go with the big boy. No. So they portray Watson as the antithesis to Sherlock Holmes because he has simple deductive reasoning of very, very small things. And then when it comes to any actual useful deduction, deduction at all, he just hilariously fails. Did you say antithesis? Antithesis. Isn't yes. it antithesis? It's like beef oven. Because Sherlock Holmes is the thesis. So if you want the opposite of a thesis, <laughs> you get the antithesis. The hypothesis. <laughs> the hypothesis. Sherlock is going to look at it and be like, it's a fucking bomb. Plot twist, Sherlock Holmes doesn't realize because he's dumb, opens the book, blows up. Watson's going to blow up. I hope Watson blows up. <laughs> is it Sherlock Holmes? No, it's not. It's an old Unless woman. it is, and he's disguised. I was going to do a battle royale of... This Sherlock, Robert Downey Sherlock, and then Benedict Sherlock, but Robert Downey is a ninja who sees the future. He has, like, Kung Fu Karate, like, Jet Li, Jackie Chan, Bruce Lee fucking skill. And is clairvoyant in every way, and can, like, he's, it's like next with Nicolas Cage, except just Sherlock Holmes. Theology. I like those, though. Those I are... like the second one the best, because it has chess. I think, I, I like both of them, to be quite honest. Those are the best Sherlocks I've seen. Yeah, but no, nah, I, I prefer the Benedict Sherlock. That's fair. What do you think about Will Ferrell's Sherlock? I only saw the trailer. <laughs> That's all you need to see. There's a monster at large in the city. There's a monster at large. It's just a tall, ugly guy. Come on. It's poor fucking dude. No, fucking buffalo torso gorilla arms. There he is! Oh my god. Buffalo torso gorilla arms. Oh my god, he's scaring small animals. That's like the worst thing he's ever done. That's how you know he's a bad guy, because the animals are scared of him. And you're oh, dead. Oh shit! He just yeets place at the dead body. Okay, hold on. <laughs> so he uses his buffalo torso and or gorilla arms to smash the back, and then yeets China at the guy. Watson just mumbles under his breath half the movie. Because Sherlock, he's an idiot. I think I can understand Sherlock, even though he talks really fast. He's yeah. really a good character trait of Sherlock Holmes. Again, this guy is just the pinnacle of what I think Sherlock should be. Oh, Beef Oven. Good guy. Yeah. And Napoleon. I feel like Beef Oven is the antithesis to Napoleon. So if we're counting this among the Universal Monsters series, this is one of my favorites. Ah, he's got the magnifying glass. He's sitting right behind me. Fucking gorilla buffalo chest arms. I'm so sad we haven't seen him yet this whole movie. Well, we've seen We haven't him. seen him, though. I want to look at... Tall, ugly guy, the, the monster. You can relate. Well, not tall. Or ugly. Or a guy. <laughs> oh no, it likes him. He has a mixed reception with cats, then. Why are they both going to the place of the murder? Why can't he just be like, hey, the creeper, go kill her? He's so big. Oh my god. That's a hand. Gorilla arm? Hello? Look at this fucking... He's he doesn't huge. even fit in the house. He needs to, like, hunch over so we can not hit the ceiling. Why is he head. not Frankenstein? This is such a nice change of pace. It's so nice seeing a movie where the village doesn't burn everything down the last five minutes and everyone That's runs. not even what I care about right now, dude. The story is fun. The characters don't suck. I'm not annoyed the whole time. Who just does a surgery? In the middle of the night. You won't find the Borgia Pearl there, my dear Conover. Got that gun. Oh, it's so fucking good. I knew it. Oh, Sherlock is a fucking shit detective. He did all this clever shit to pull the rug out from under him, and then one quick push gets the gun out of his hand. If this were Robert Downey Jr., he would have, like, murdered him by now. <laughs> my god. That's like three Sherlock Holmes tall. Don't shoot the creeper. He has one more movie. They can't shoot him. He has two more movies. Oh. He's got, he's got a trilogy. So they have two more movies, they can't shoot him. But Dracula and Frankenstein die every movie, quote-unquote. Why does the creeper think he's gonna win against a gun? Oh, maybe he is bulletproof. He's pretty large. He just shot him, like, four times. Give it some more. That's it, you go. Oh, that's very sexual out of context. Holmes! My back is broken, I'm about to fall down, someone catch me. Pearls inside that? If it isn't, I shall retire to Sussex and keep bees. Time to keep bees. There it is. Damn it! I was really looking forward to keeping bees. We've been in the home stretch for a while. I didn't even realize. Out of ten, eight. This is a fucking great. eight for me as well. I don't even care if it's not technically part of the Universal Monsters series because guess what? It's on my fucking favorites of that series now. It's yeah, it's like with, the fourth best one. It's up there with Drac, Frank, and Bride. Those are obviously the three best ones yeah. so far. Yeah. This is why this is the fourth best one. I'm so happy you got to watch a good one. You ready for the next one, buddy? Uh, hopefully, it's House of Frankenstein. It's which House is a good of Frankenstein. One. Fucking jazzed. Yeah. I'm actually excited. Me too. They probably don't fight, though. They're just gonna stand around and lumber. Oh, what if they do? They're gonna... Uh...